नमस्कार एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीत कोचर आई एम अ फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट एट एलेक्सर फर्टिलिटी सेंटर इन नॉर्थ डेली टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस एज फर्टिलिटी स्पेशलिस्ट सो मेनी टाइम्स अ पेशेंट्स आस्क अस व्हाई डिड आवर आईवीएफ एम्ब्रियोस नॉट स्टिक हमारे एम्ब्रियोस चिपके क्यों नहीं अगर सब कुछ अच्छा था एंड व्हाट कैन वी डू अबाउट इट नाउ टू Uh, to be able to understand why the embryos are not sticking you need to understand how ivf works so ivf works in two phases pehli phase mein hum female ko stimulate karte hain we give uh, injections to help the ovaries produce multiple eggs we take out the eggs these eggs are handed over to the embryologist in the ivf lab who fertilizes the eggs with the sperm and creates an embryo and then cultures the embryo so the first stage is what is happening in the laboratory the first stage is creating an embryo the second stage is putting these embryos back inside the uterus in embryos ko maa ke garbh mein wapas dala jata hai phir wait kari jati hai ki apne aap ja ke chipkenge aur gradually pregnancy badhna shuru hogi so the second phase is the implantation phase where we wait for nature to accept the embryos or nature to allow the uterus to accept the embryos and let a healthy pregnancy grow अब क्या फैक्टर्स हैं जो इन दोनों फेजेस में एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट को और प्रेगनेंसी पाने को इफेक्ट कर सकते हैं लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट फेज सो एज आई सेड द फर्स्ट फेज इज क्रिएटिंग एन एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो की क्वालिटी कुछ फैक्टर्स पे डिपेंड करती है जिसमें पहला और सबसे जरूरी फैक्टर आता है एग क्वालिटी दूसरा स्पर्म क्वालिटी तीसरा प्रोबेबली एग और स्पर्म दोनों की क्वालिटी कुछ लोगों में दोनों में दिक्कत हो सकती है एंड फाइनली द लेबोरेटरी कंडीशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द एग क्वालिटी फर्स्ट The egg quality starts declining as the female's age increases. Usually, this decline starts in the mid 30s. After the age of, let's say, about 35, uh, the egg quality starts declining a bit. 37, 38 के बाद ये decline और steep हो जाता है, and it is um, even steeper after the age of 40. So, as our age increases, it is not only the number of eggs that is going down; it is also the quality of eggs that declines. secondly environmental factors specifically exposure to cigarette smoke or even pollution for that matter now if you are smoking let's say about 10 to 20 cigarettes a day we normally say that it brings menopause forward by a year agar ye menopause ko ek saal aage la raha hai to ye 30 saal ki umar mein jo aapki egg quality hai usko bhi decrease kar raha hai aisa nahi hai ki keval menopause effect hoga aaj ki date mein jo eggs produce ho rahe hain inki quality bhi effect hogi so usually the chemicals which are present in cigarette smoke they increase the oxidative stress which is harmful for the oocytes and the quality of the egg declines then there are certain conditions like endometriosis jisme bhi egg quality effect hoti hai ab sawal ye uthta hai ki egg quality ko improve karne ke liye kiya kya jaye unfortunately there are not many things that can be done to improve the egg quality there are very few medications which will affect the egg quality so we first start with lifestyle modification sabse pehle quit smoking uh, adapt a more healthy lifestyle involving exposure to fresh air maybe walk or some breathing techniques like pranayam and yoga now they may not have a significant impact on the egg quality but at a level where you are trying to balance that thin line which makes a difference between getting pregnant with your own eggs or requiring donor eggs even if it creates a 5 to 10% benefit in the egg quality or improvement in the egg quality that egg quality that is significant so pehli cheez hum start karenge lifestyle modification se then there are certain medications like vitamin d supplementation usually women who have very low vitamin d have uh, diminished ovarian reserve in their eggs kam hote hain aur thode low quality ke hote hain so vitamin d supplementation is helpful for improving the ovarian um, status and the uh, egg quality then dhea so dhea is a hormone which decreases as a female ages and supplementation with dhea can help improve the egg quality so these are very few limited things which may help improve an egg quality to a very minuscule to extent not to a significant extent the second factor is a sperm quality now unlike in females in males the sperm quality does not decrease significantly as a man ages iska kya karan hai the reason behind this is that a female is usually born with all the eggs that she will be producing in her life so when a, when a girl child is born she already has the number of eggs that she will be producing in her adult life at birth 
as opposed to this when a boy is born he is not already born with the sperm that he'll be producing when he's a teenager or when he's an adult when he reaches that age men start producing sperm so jo cheez hum lekar paida hue hain usko hum nahi badal sakte balki jo cheez hum produce karne wale hain males mein jaise sperm as they age produce kiye jate hain is process mein 60 to 90 days lagte hain takes about 60 to 90 days for uh, sperm production isko affect kiya ja sakta hai which is why if a sperm quality is declining we can give the man antioxidants and some medicines to help improve the sperm quality so yes you get my point sperm quality can be improved with medicines and men should be more forthcoming about their problems and not hide their problems because they can be easily treated in some cases it may be both the man and the woman that are affected and in these cases we treat them as a couple finally we also need to look at the laboratory conditions because these also affect the embryo quality so when you choose an ivf center choose a center which has an in house laboratory which is well equipped with the latest cutting edge technology has an in house qualified embryologist and they have good quality control um, measures in place so we at elixir fertility center take care of the minutest details that will help you produce a better embryo we take care of the air quality we take care of all the laboratory conditions and the culture conditions which are required for the embryo to develop normally so all these factors together will affect the quality of the embryo that is being developed if an embryo is not good it will not result in a healthy pregnancy even if the uterus is very receptive अब पता कैसे चले कि एम्ब्रियो अच्छा है कि नहीं हाउ डू वी डिसाइड वेदर एन एम्ब्रियो इज वर्थ ट्रांसफरिंग और नॉट सो दैट इज वॉट आर एम्ब्रियोलॉजिस्ट डू आर एम्ब्रियोलॉजिस्ट असेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो एवरी डे बाई डूइंग अ मोफोलॉजिकल असेसमेंट सबसे पहले एम्ब्रियो की डेवलपमेंट देखी जाती है इज इट डिवाइडिंग एट द राइट टाइम इज इट डिवाइडिंग नॉर्मली डू द सेल्स लुक इक्वल डू दे हैव फ्रैगमेंटेशन इज देर डी जनरेशन इसको मोफोलॉजिकल असेसमेंट कहते हैं वी ऑल्सो हैव टाइम लैब्स इमेजिंग वेयर स्मॉल कैमराज आर फिटेड इन साइड द इंक्यूबेटर एंड वी कैन डू अ बेटर असेसमेंट ऑफ द एम्ब्रियोज कंटिन्यूसली इन टाइम विदाउट टेकिंग दैम आउट ऑफ द इंक्यूबेटर्स एंड फाइनली इफ रिक्वायर्ड अ प्री इम्प्लांटेशन जेनेटिक टेस्टिंग और पी जी टी कैन बी डन टू सिलेक्ट नॉर्मल एम्ब्रियोज और यूप्लॉयड एम्ब्रियोज फॉर ट्रांसफर Now let's say we have excellent embryos phir bhi pregnancy nahi aa rahi iska matlab embryo factor nahi hai agar egg bhi theek hai sperm bhi theek hai the laboratory conditions are awesome and still we are having a problem in getting a pregnancy we need to look at the uterine factors i normally tell my patients that when an ivf fails it is either the seed or the soil which is at fault if our seed is good then it has to be the soil ab uterus mein aise kya factors hain jo ivf failure ki taraf contribute kar sakte hain First of all there could be an anatomical defect there could be a submucous fibroid polyp yadi patient ki pehle dnc's hui hai ya safai hui hai to there could be asherman syndrome ya adhesions bola jata hai jisme uterus mein aapas mein thodi chipkahat aa jati hai in procedures ko ultrasound uh, 3d three dimensional ultrasound ke dwara diagnose bhi kiya ja sakta hai aur ek hysteroscope ke dwara correct bhi kiya ja sakta hai Apart from structural anomalies in the uterus, there could be infection. So some people have infections which could be acute. अभी पिछले कुछ दिनों में infection हुआ है. Some people can have chronic infections. So ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि low grade infection uterus में काफी time से चला आ रहा है. Infection के कारण uterus uterus का वातावरण ऐसा हो जाता है कि वो embryo को implant नहीं करने देता. So these women are normally treated with some antibiotics which help um, in curing the infection completely. In India common infection is tuberculosis but not all infections may be tuberculosis so we need to do a test whether a woman is carrying a tubercular or a non tubercular infection and then treat it accordingly the third problem which can occur with the uterus is decreased vascular blood flow sometimes we see that the uh, blood vessels as seen on an ultrasound or even a hysteroscopy may not be providing good flow to the endometrium and the endometrium looks pale and avascular in cases may normally we give blood thinning agents like aspirin and low molecular weight heparin injections to the female to help improve the blood flow to the uterus then there could be autoimmune problems or increase natural killer cell population in the uterus and these can also be treated so if we have an a patient where an ivf is failing there are certain tests that we should do before resorting to another ivf cycle if an ivf cycle fails more than 3 times or after implantation of more than 6 top quality blastocysts we normally label it as recurrent implantation failure these are the men where all these detailed testing should be done before proceeding for another ivf cycle 
too. So I hope my talk helped you understand why an idea fails. I hope that you will not be scared if an idea fails and you'll come forward to your doctor to get these tests done and move towards your further treatment. If you have any further doubts, please contact us. Our website is www.elixirfertility.com. Thank you.